The tournament run for the Smacky Cup 1 continues. How's it going guys and gals? This is Advance Warrior here and welcome back to another Advance Wars by Web replay commentary. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my Smacky Cup 1 run. Um, I can't remember like everything that I explained from the previous video, but uh, the one match that I had with Banjoey, I explained in the beginning what the beginning of my tournament run looked like, and then going up against Banjoey was the division top eight. And after that game, I have moved on to the division top four. And yeah, it's uh, interesting. We got a got a coal mirror here. I mean, look at all these roads for this map. The map here is called, I believe it's called Fireflies in the Night, and it is a three base double airport double comm tower map. The interesting thing about this map is definitely these these bases that you see right here. Um, the, these bases have mountains around it, but you can have a vehicle that goes around through the back and goes through like two forest tiles before we can loop around to the left or right side and start pumping vehicles to the side. Um, these bases also allow infantry to move forward and try to capture some properties, but the uh, reinforcement time for the vehicles will take a lot longer, so they're not going to be um, safe if you're just gonna keep pushing infantry forward with no vehicle support, um, if, if the vehicles are too slow, of course. Uh, yeah, we have two uh, cities that are adjacent to each other. Calm towers are in the corner, and these islands in the corner, you have two ways of getting infantry there. You can either have a T-copter from the far corner and move it all the way down to this side, or you could build a black boat or lander, and you can have... Um, uh, units being ferried over here. I think there's like some little funny trick I guess where you maybe have like a lander here and then you can like bring it all the way up here. I don't know if that'd be faster. One, two, three, four, five, six and then mm, just just a little bit but um, I don't think a lander would be uh, worth it here. Um, in two turns a regular infantry can go try to interrupt the capture if they need to but um, yeah, I I like this map. It definitely um, introduced something unique and different that both of us are going to have to try to work through. And there's a good amount of roads next to properties as well, which was also why that me and my, po me and my opponent ended up picking the same CO. Both of us ended up picking Cole. Now me, personally, I like Cole because I feel like he's a little underrepresented. It was really nice to see a map where I, it really felt like Cole could shine. Some people might consider him like a slightly worse adder. Um, he gets 10% bonuses on roads and this gives him like unique, um, uh, dam unique damage when it comes to attacking like on properties because Cole with a comm tower could have like 20% let's say like 20% on a road and then like another 10% on um, a plane it's not going to be a you know to guaranteed to hit KO but it could get interesting uh, with the, the more comm towers there are um, roads are not something that you usually want to sit on so that is why some people are kind of turned off by Cole's um, day to day uh, I can't believe I can't remember the power I think the power is force march which is a plus one movement to all units and a 20% boost on roads which is kind of nice you get a nice little combination of um, a nice combination of movement and attack although you do have to attack from a road so you are kind of vulnerable but uh yeah let's say the units attacking here you take over the city if they want to attack a unit on the road they will be on the road themselves but if you, that's kind of niche honestly and it is three stars unlike adder's uh, two star power which is kind of why some people would say that Cole is a slightly worse adder because his power is three stars instead of two stars. Well, at least Cole has the better super. 
it is 5 stars, which is the same as Adder, plus 2 movement, and another 30% bonus on roads, which is really, really um, nice. The plus 2 movement, of course, and the 30% boost can get you a lot of damage and get you, you know, more unique to hit KOs. Not like not even on cities, like you can maybe get a one shot from a road. And the other nice thing about Cole is that unlike Lash, uh, funny I mentioned Lash, but uh, Lash has terrain bonuses only specifically for ground units. Cole can get um, road bonuses from air units as well. And I think that's really nice for Cole because Battlecopters don't care about terrain. If they can be over a road, then that's just a free damage boost to them. They're not losing any defense for being over a road and attacking from that tile, which is really nice. Jake has the same thing with his air units on planes, and Kindle has the same thing on properties, cities, not the missile silos, but you know, it was a tier 4 match, so both of us picked Cole, and yeah, like I said, this map itself introduced some interesting. Uh, things that I have to think about if I'm going to um, try to get like these properties like maybe T-Copter all the way here or build a black boat and try to make value of it later but without further ado let us begin so I will say I haven't looked at this in a very very long time so this will sort of be like a blind reaction while trying to remember what I did for this game so my opponent DMA is player one I am player two and of course i'm just going for the base that's what you want to do it's going to take three turns before i start capturing it and dma goes for the immediate city in the back probably wants to go get the airport later on i can see maybe wanting to go for this and then move over here to get this or move over here to get this this is a three chain actually but this is closer to the two base side of your opponent so i'm going for the base and i like I said, I'm going for the more four properties, I would say. Just so I can like move over here and probably get two properties. So DMA does not go for the city here, goes straight for the further out city, which I can understand that. If you move plan and if you move plan and you like figure it out, you can actually city skip and not lose a vehicle, which is why I like using the move planner a lot. So of course I'm getting that and I'm just getting vision, unnecessary vision, but I, I still can reach either of these two cities well, still from moving from one tile. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move out, move up a bit quickly. We're all spread apart and I think I can afford a tank. Yeah, I can afford a tank because I just captured this base and I was like, well, you know, go ahead and build a tank. And I built it on my one base side. The reason that I built it here is because there's like a shoal bridge here and with a, a bunch of roads, uh, not many forests in the way, I can just keep moving the tank because I think I'm going to bring this tank over to my strong side because this base was just captured. So let's see what DMA does 10k and goes for a tank on the. Um, two base side. Interesting thing is here. Interesting thing here is that I felt like it was too slow to try to build a tank on the mountain base and then having it to go all the way back there. But I think I also was fine with like, you know, smaller infantry count on my one base side, just capturing enough properties while I want to make a push on the left side here of my two base side. So. Oh. Like I said, I'm gonna bring the tank over and I build infantry. I did not have enough for a tank. I did have enough for a recon, but yeah, not a tank. I remember I was on the move planner and I was actually trying to see um, what can I do to, um, to avoid a potential recon opener from my opponent. But when I played as my opponent and built a day three or day four recon, it kind of hurt the, um, it kind of hurt the vehicle order a bit. Like building a recon, it kind of took longer to build a tank. So I kind of took the risk that hey, my opponent did not build a recon because the recon would be too detrimental for them, 
and I was right so far we don't see any recons we see two tanks the ABBA order if you know what I mean then, then you know what I mean but yeah I'm gonna be able to build a tank and then my opponent can build two tanks and then I build one tank that's the ABBA order and funny enough I do build a uh, recon here because I, I needed vision I, I know I need vision like I can funny enough my opponent has vision more vision on the one base side actually I think we can both see the cities see the city actually which is kind of funny I take back what I said about the um I take back what I said about vision but my DMA builds a t-copter oh crap DMA builds a t-copter and it's possible that this t-copter is going to be flown all the way to the top left side for that comp tower starts capturing the city which is a nice chain two, the two tanks are close to each other all units are protected this is a very good opener from well all but this but how likely am i to hit this this is so far a very good opener from my opponent and the weak side recon interesting move could go over here and then have all these roads to go to the two base side can't exactly remember so i'm just gonna hopefully get this but at the same time covering my comm tower finally capture the port all those cities in the back and get the chain here it's gonna be nice if i can get both of these really cool and my tank covers these two this one's this, is, this one's undefended unfortunately so day eight here my opponent gets traps and doesn't go for the interrupt um it's it's kind of interesting how you look at how you look at that kind of philosophy where because the mm, dma is guaranteed to get this city they don't know that yet but they're very likely going to get this city because it's like within two range of two turns of a mech and because we are coal mechs are kind of favorable because of the movement it's very interesting to how do you look at this this is the two base side but is it really close enough for two bases to reinforce this side that is um that's something i should have brought up earlier this is where counting tiles uh comes into play where if you're going to count tiles for each base how far they can go in a certain amount of turns so is this really belong does this really belong to the two base side it could but i'd have to like do a lot of counting to try to figure that out but yeah it's you know interesting to think could DMA have ignored this capture, interrupted this cap, and then go ahead and get this capture? Because, yeah, about city security and, and whatnot. So, this T Copter does nothing with this infantry that goes for the comm tower and could possibly move a unit from this base. And DMA is capturing these two adjacent properties where I have not. I think I initially thought this was a little too aggressive for my opponent because this is, you know, two base side. Anti-air, early anti-air, day eight, actually no, not early, just in time, but the airport's so far in the corner. I guess since my opponent captured their airport much sooner than me, they assumed, all right, they probably have a airport online, they're going to need it soon, but the earlier the airport, the better, I guess, and this tank cannot attack this infantry thankfully so i will get this city and i will get the city and i'm slowly moving my units up making sure they're all protected a nice little chain here it will be awkward if both of these get attacked though because this tank is too weak to defend this one and i build an artillery i can't remember why i built an artillery i think i was just trying to eventually wall up and then make a siege for these two two properties there DMA has the comm tower and they have the two cities there and okay I see he gets the uh, infantry from here all the way over there I'd like to see so DMA is taking the long route with the t-copter but is also boosting infantry along the way that is really cool to see DMA gets the attack on the silo and gonna capture that property probably shouldn't have gone for that maybe that does belong to the two base side there but yeah out of these six cities um to be balanced i'll have these three and dma can have those three i don't think i go for any attacks here 
Oh, I finally get the city and the comm tower, and two more cities, three cities actually. Artillery is slowly moving up, and I'm trying to get vision on the adjacent cities on my two base side. I build an anti-air, because that's the same time that I have my airport online, so the logic points out. And I have a mech here. Again, it's a very forward base, so mechs can go through fine. I'm cool, I want mechs because of the movement. And with the artillery, I'm going to be making a very slow, methodical push. Trying to defend the city and moving units over to the side. I think I just want to hold on to these three and then try to get these two. Not going to try to fight for that. Not worth it. So I'm slowly clumping up towards the uh, left side here. And my opponent moves in. Fortunately, I lose the infantry on that city. Wait, what was that? Hmm. Oh, I see now. I see now. So, I have vision of this infantry. Only with this infantry. DMA is trying to trick me into thinking the infantry pulled back. When in actuality, it just moved left. It, it was trying to... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good movement to trick your opponent as Sun Tzu, as I heard Sun Tzu once said not in person but um, I heard from the art of war uh, all warfare is based on deception and we are playing fog of war so a lot of deception can be made and I opt for the black boat route and I'm hoping I can like bring infantry over although now that I think about it this should be my infantry base I should I should want infantry and mechs out here rather than infantry back here, so hmm, maybe the black boat route wasn't worth it. I decided to pull back because I feel like at this point my opponent should have an anti-air. And I'm starting to ball up, not a perfect wall at all, but the next turn we could get to that formation. So now DMA is um, only 1k income ahead of me. Well, actually no, about to be like three income ahead of me capturing my city here four income ahead of me i'm sorry yeah dma has all four cities all four of the pair the two pairs of the cities and i realize that i am behind and going for two of my cities three of my cities i really do not have a lot going on on my one base side and this is just allowing dma to um you know, increases funds while at the same time draining mine. And I don't have enough forces to where if I go interrupt every single one of them, it is very likely that all these, all the infantry that goes for the interrupt will be a free kill and DMA can just start steamrolling from there. So, I um, go for the two hit KL with recon and infantry. Then I go for a road attack, and that brings it down to uh, 6. Again, just a nice 20% attack boost. And I attack from a plane. Again, like I said, not a 2-hit KO going from road to plane. But I do have some imagery to at least finish it off. And I am able to capture both properties. And this one's very likely protected. This one is exposed. And I go for the uh, interrupt. The two hit the guarantee to hit KO because again both are on roads, and I'm able to put my even my tank onto the city. I don't want um, my, my my tank onto the city because you don't want to leave units exposed from uh, from cities. So I go for the copter interrupt here, and I am hoping that this is protected. Like okay, like hopefully think that there's something in the forest to try to protect it. I try to see if it's blocked, it's not blocked, so I move my inventory to try to cover that. And let's see what I do with my artillery. I have it here, so anything that tries to interrupt from this top spot, the artillery will hit. And I'm just like trying to ball up. I let go of that city. I realize, okay, maybe my opponent is pretty strong on this side. They can have the city, but I will try to go fight for the city up here. And I just build two tanks and an infantry and a copter. So my opponent gets to the city and boom, the tank hits. They they saw the 
of Battlecopter Attack, so this is a free hit. And yeah, this anti air is hidden. I cannot um I cannot reveal and attack it at the same time. Maybe if I have a movement boost and try to move on the mountain and then hit, but I'll be next to a city. I am on a missile silo though. And yeah, like I said, a lot of those hits were just free down there for my opponent. And they're comfortable, I guess they're pretty comfortable with that, because now they're backing off here and they build a bomber. Hmm, I wonder why DMA built a bomber. I'm honestly kind of curious about that. But regardless, a bomber's been built. Now, I'm happy that I get two of these cities, but I lost this one. I'm bound to losing this one. I could interrupt this one though. I get a recon just to get vision. I interrupt. The plane was a guaranteed kill, thankfully. I pull my copter back and I'm just making a, trying to prevent a two hit KO from this side. I capture, I capture the comm tower over the airport, which I think is kind of interesting. I think at the time I was trying to go for some guaranteed two hit KOs. A lot more damage from the roads, so with all that damage that they take their counter attack won't be as strong and if I don't get the chance to attack on roads I get a two, get two hit guaranteed KO regardless and I start to wall up here I'm preparing my tank anti-air is ready to defend against any air units pulling my tanks back making sure they're all healing I build another mech here black boat again it, it can bring it all the way over here which is kind of nice I build a medium tank, which is, I, I think the logic was, you know, three tanks to build a medium tank, and I try to hide in the forest, so I don't know why I put this inventory here, probably, it couldn't have gone to the mountain, but preserving this, I can get vision from the mountain and reveal what's what's in those forests. The so DMA, look at this, this T-Copter has moved up here and is already loading an in infantry. DMA also goes for the double comm tower, which I guess, but... DMA is also going for this comm tower as well, and if he gets a movement boost, this one can join cap and make it very hard to interrupt that. Free hit on the infantries on the side here, which really, really sucks. And now DMA has vision of my of my base, and it's going to be very awkward to try to get rid of that because I can use a copter and then maybe a tank on the road, but then this copter is exposed to the anti-air going for two of my properties down here i'm really weak on my weak side per se and there's two mechs on this side from dma and the recon here sees the the not yeah the recon sees the anti-air so the bomber tries to scoot around the side trying to avoid getting hit and is starting to pull back and i don't think i can interrupt this capture unfortunately I go for the comm tower and I get a nice, very nice boost with the black boat here. I get a guarantee, not a guarantee, I get a kill, again, double comm tower and took some chip damage from the infantry as well so I probably just ensured that kill. Move this up just for vision sake. This is very greedy. This is very greedy. I think it's... I think what went through my mind was, okay, if my opponent can do this to me on the other side, I can do this to my opponent. But here's the interesting thing. There are two mechs on the weak, on the weak side of my opponent. I have no mechs here. You know how nice mechs would be down there, now that I think about it? Why did I not build mechs? Question I will... Don't know if I'll ever figure it out or not, but yeah, you know, I just want this city probably gonna lose this and now I'm trying to front shift and help out on my two base side I could have built an air unit but I was scared that there would be like multiple anti-air and one would just be here and kill my um, air unit there I move my anti-air here I think my logic was if any air units attack over here I have a power I already have my power I have a power and it will be enough to be to be in range to cover my units so i try to interrupt the capture and i go for a first strike on the tank feel pretty good about that unfortunately the 2 hp inventory cannot save and interrupt this capture which really hurt to see 
and I'm ho and I think this was a I thought this was a free hit I think at the time but sadly no now this infantry is so annoying I can't do anything about it so I'm like okay recon can deal with it but it can't attack from the river and it cannot loop around to attack from the forest which really sucks to see build tank infantry so I'm a little more consolidated uh, at this point I am 2k behind about to be 3k about to be one tower to three towers and yeah I have more units but and more army value but it is my actually no my opponent was turn one was player one so yeah use that if you're gonna look at army value and unit count make sure all the players have played their turn you do not want to look at numbers at the middle of a turn when player two hasn't had a chance to play their turn so moves off the city and gets the hit triple calm tower so a lot of this is going to hurt gets vision from there oh my goodness what is that 40 percent coal from a road gets that kill and this tank still hides i lose the copter anti-air is moving up can kill my air units from there looking really really dire and this infantry pulls back all these all these these three units can get vision on that one base maybe this was a distraction so nothing can go interrupt this cap i don't know actually but uh, yeah that that's dying very cautious bomber from my opponent bomber and neo tank you don't see that every day and medium tank so if i try to do anything on this side he's pretty well defended for it I try to get vision with the recon, get the anti-air hit, I saw the tank go into the forest, and I use my super, no, I use my power, I'm sorry, trail of woe, just to get um, units close to there, I'm able to get that hit, I try to get vision, I see, okay, nothing's on the airport, get uh, one hit KO, one hit KO, one hit KO, but there's an anti-air there, so what's the point? I was afraid to get hit from the from, from the city. I probably should have gone for the hit though. Now I finally go for the airport capture. And I, I'm hoping to get vision. Now I see there's a medium tank. I don't see the bomber though. Which is the more scary uh, unit. So yeah, I have these three cities. Now I need to go defend uh, my side and hopefully take back my comp tower. Nice little um, artillery coverage back there inventory in the back with the black boat so let's see here my opponent gets the entire kill uh gets the airport t copter is able to bring it back free kill free kill oh my gosh this is, uh, this is so annoying i um i cannot leave my one base side this recon is gonna have to reveal and then the new tank's gonna have to hit Oh yeah, when I saw that inventory, could, it, could I have seen that inventory walk in? No, I couldn't have, but that's just so painful to deal with. Units slowly pouring out. You know, imagine if I built a mech. I, I could get at least some pot shots off and I'm about to lose my airport. All the tanks pull back and try to heal. I... Uh, my opponent has a tank that can see both my recon and neo tank. We have a rocket. Interesting. What's the movement of this rocket? It can go in the forest. And then it's all roads and shoals and properties from there. Really cool to see. Um, I'm hoping I'm able to get a uh, get a capture or possible retaliation from this. So my recon does reveal, and now I can move my tanks up defend my um tank but we're all on roads that is not a good um it's not a yeah a line of tanks on roads that's not good defensive terrain and in this inventory it neglects the black boat and this black boat's probably going to go save this in or pick up this inventory yeah build a neo tank on that side as well i don't build a copter because i know i'm about to lose it so trail of woe. So now as you can see, 
two units overhead, but my opponent has higher army value, and they've mo most of the game have been ahead in unit count. 90 damage, or like 9 HP of damage from a road. What is this? Is the super? So that's 30 plus a 10%, so that's 40. Three comm towers, 70% attack boost, attacking from a road, and that's able to survive. Just get more information. Losing that airport, very, very, very likely, and that was a one shot. Probably chip damage, or maybe that was a roll. I'll probably throw up the calcs up there. Neo tank hits from the city. Bla doesn't block my medium tank. Tries to get a lot more information. And yeah, this one I cannot attack. I, I cannot do anything about this. Medium tank is trapped. And I'm trapped on a shoal. On a shoal, so I'm not getting any damage boost. I lose my mech down there. I lose another mech. The tank gets a one hit kill. Yeah, bomber goes around, hits the artillery, interrupts the cap. Mechs are moving over. Now my opponent's doing the front shift here. They have less property to protect, so they can afford to move units over to the side. Yeah, that was a very devastating super. Now I use my trail of woe. My own super, the counter super, I get trapped and I do not get a kill. Probably could have if my opponent didn't have super, but I also didn't have a comm tower. I was able to get that kill, no need for a road. Get that kill from a road. A recon removes the intel, but this neo tank can't even go out there. This replay player says it can, but it cannot. And an interesting interesting way of looking at it this bomber is not adjacent to any roads so i cannot get the kill i have to be on one of those two tiles just move that out the way just you know just move things around attack from the city and i resign and the resign kind of makes sense you can see i'm four behind i am 40k behind an army value. I'm about to lose my airport. It's looking really lost. My opponent can get the first strike. Could possibly get a first strike on my medium tank. And yeah. So my Smacky Cup run has ended. The first one, Smacky Cup 1, has ended. It was kind of, you know, kind of hurt to, to lose, but. You know, I, I always say, you know, the more you play Advanced Wars, the more experience you get. And I love this game. I just like playing the, the strategy aspect of it. I just want to pull up the stats from here. Uh, one cop from me and one Scott. My opponent was one Scott. Their kills were, oh wow, like a 20,000 difference in... Kills to deaths. Uh, no one, no one really joined. We both built forty-five units. I lost five more units than my opponent here. So, what can we say went wrong here? I'm just gonna go ahead and just go back as far as I can. I honestly, I think DMA played this game fantastically didn't really go for the city because they they knew what they were doing i the, the, i can only think of weird moves that i made um like i don't know if this is really a weird move but a tank uh, i think when the tournament was happening they called this base a half infantry base um my opponent was patient enough to allow the tanks to go through all those forest tiles and loop around. Me, this was on my weak base side, could still go through there, but I was really like scared to build vehicles from this base because the fact that I had to go back and over, that, that might have been why. And they're getting the tank chain there. I don't have a tank chain, and I built a recon, which is kind of contradicts what I just said about 
building a vehicle here and I think and a recon is worse over here because it has to go through two forests. I think I was fine with them like eventually meeting up like that. Um I also kind of see that I spread out to the side, like this city and this city, instead of going for the uh, two adjacent cities. And my opponent is getting all of that for free. And this was a free kill for my opponent. They took the T-Copter route, and this T-Copter did work. This T-Copter moved back here, and then timed it so an infantry would would be needed, would be boosted to get over here. And it's still making progress towards the uh, island on the side. And yeah, my opponent was completely untouched on this side here. And I lose an infantry. And they're getting this side as well. Uh, artillery. And a mech on this side. I moved the cop to this side because I was afraid of losing... Um, my copter from any blind anti-air and they were really pushing on my strong side on my weak side I'm sorry they were capturing three properties four threatening four properties although I could I was able to interrupt all of them but there was no backup therefore like I said those three hits so yeah I go for some interrupts and yeah that, like trying to use the copter to try to save the to try to save the city was maybe not the best play. I thought this was safe. I thought this was protected. I tried to bluff. He called my bluff and no, not even called my bluff. It was a guaranteed to hit KO. So yeah, that was very, you know, insane of me to use a nine nine K copter to interrupt a one K capture. A one K infantry. But I was, you know, getting some you know, I was getting some fight in on the other side getting these two properties and i don't think i was ever equal in income at all um another thing because my opponent had infantry close to my base they were able to stand on the mountain and get a whole lot of intel i was nowhere near it this is the closest i ever got but then i just like started shifting to the side and yeah this copter this anti-air got more than enough value and this copter was just trying to kill for the sake of killing but yeah you could see dma kills it immediately uh i i gave up way too many free hits and my weak side was very weak and i commented on this earlier at some point i should be having a mech down here and like at this point maybe a mech Definitely a mech here as well. Mech again. But I didn't build any and I just built them on my strong side. So, um, yeah. That is the end of my Smacky Cup 1 run. But I'm happy that I made it this far. Despite some of the silly games that I had earlier. Yeah. Um, Advance Wars is this is not a dead game i guess um oh wow we you know had a lot shorter time for recording i'm pretty happy with that actually but uh yeah i made top four in my division uh, a lot of hiccups and bumps along the way but i made top four i faced a lot of opponents i got to play on this map and i guess you could say that i learned a lot uh, maybe there's a whole lot of whole lot more that some of you guys would say what I did wrong with this game, but that is something that I can read in the comments and then Im hopefully improve on in my future games after this point. But uh, yeah, it's been a long time at this point. Like the third Smacky Cup is is already out, but to the rest of my opponents, I guess. Hopefully, good luck in the rest of the bracket, if the game is still going on, which I probably think it is. But, yeah, that's the all the Smacky Cup 1 games for me. There's definitely more tournaments at this point that I have joined and that I will upload for the future of this channel, for all of you guys to see. And we can go through my experience together and we can learn 
or you could like help me learn as we go on but yeah guys and gals thank you all so much for watching i am advanced warrior you all have my warmest regards please take care